Mitch at ModMind.com. Today we're going to be discussing the features of iOS 8 that were revealed in WWDC yesterday. These are just some of the top features that we want to talk about with you today. First up, is going to, we're going to be talking about the Notification Center. Uh, it has been redone or redeveloped, however you want to refer to it, and they are only going to be displaying the Today the Notification Center will also have widgets now. Developers are going to be able to include widgets in their applications, so we should see a lot of cool things start coming out for our Notification Center. But they're not going to allow these widgets on the home screen, but, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too, guys. Now, also one of the big things that happened about iOS 8 is quick reply we finally get quick reply after all this time apple is going to include it in ios 8 which i think is awesome and the way it works is when you get your little pop-up or banner if you're inside ios 8 first of all and you get the little banner at the top you simply just going to tap that banner to be able to interact with your whoever's messaging you what makes this quick reply even cooler guys is it not only works for messages, it also works for other applications such as, such as uh, Twitter or Facebook. So say you get a, uh, somebody comments on one of your posts and you get a notification. You'll get a little pop-up. You can like that if you want to right, right from the notification center. You don't have to unlock the device and go in through all the hassle of opening Facebook and all that kind of thing. It's really a cool feature, guys, and I can't wait to show it to you firsthand. And another thing that they uh, showed in WWDC for iOS 8 is, is the new app switcher. It's not really going to be new. They just added some more features to it. So now when you open your app switcher, you're going to have your favorite contacts above your apps that you see on the screen there. And if you want to interact with one of those contacts, then all you have to do is tap that contact and it's going to reveal a, a little pop out like slide out, I guess you would call it. And you're going to have the option to, to call that person, send them a text message or a FaceTime directly from the app switcher, which is going to be pretty awesome to say the least. And also, guys, you can turn on and off. Do not disturb for individual conversation threads now. So if you just got one person that's just hammering you, bugging you to death, you can turn them off now. Turn the Do Not Disturb on, and you, that way you're not turning everybody else off. Also, you're getting some keyboard features. You'll be able to get a what's what they're calling a quick type. And how this works is it adds word suggestions right above the keyboard, We've seen this on Android for quite some time now. So if you've ever used an Android device, I'm sure you've seen this. But now we're getting it on iOS 8. And as you type in your words, the more letters you input, the more suggestions of uh, different words you get across the top. And this is, it should speed up the amount of time it takes you to send a text or an email or, or anything like that. And it is going to work inside email. I should have told you that as well. Also, you're going to be getting Hey Siri. We've all hear, heard of Hey Google. Now we're going to be getting Hey Siri. And there's going to be a lot of cool features that's going to be working with that. Developers are going to be able to include the fingerprint sensor in their applications now. So now hopefully we'll see things like, you know, maybe our bank accounts can be opened with a fingerprint or PayPal or Facebook or, or you know, things like that, you know, it has a whole lot of potential there. But what Apple is calling this next feature is called continuity. And the reason being is it allows you to complete things starting on one device, moving on to another device. I hope I can explain this to you the way it should be. Now, the way this works is if you start an email on the iOS device and you want to finish that email on your Mac, then that is a possibility now. Or vice versa, if you start it on your Mac and you want to complete it on your iOS, you're going to be able to make phone calls right from your Mac. 
that's saying now that you're connected with your iOS device. You can't just open your MacBook up and just start making phone calls. Of course, you're going to have to be connected to a cell service or a cell provider. But this is going to be awesome, guys, because say your phone is in the other room, you're going to be able to take phone calls right from your Mac without getting up or make a phone call right from your Mac without getting up. Works fluidly across the board from one device to the other. So the more devices you have, the more use you're going to get of this. So hopefully these features excite you as much as they did me for iOS 8. Guys, stay tuned for more coverage on iOS 8 and a hands-on look coming very soon. And if you haven't been following us on my, uh, mymy.com on Facebook and Twitter, those links will be below. Please share this video on Facebook and Twitter. It really helps us grow and keep coming back.